Hi parents, welcome to the Art Garden. Today our lesson for the kids is going to be about Georgia O'Keeffe and nature. I have this little nifty sign from my teaching days, so I thought I'd put it to use. So um, basically Georgia O'Keeffe is a great lesson for the kids because she got her inspiration from nature and that's all around us. So I think this should be an easy one for them. This. I'm going to go ahead and get right into the supplies. The supplies you're going to need for this lesson are oil pastels, which you hopefully have from last week. But if you don't, you can use crayons, markers. Um, strongly recommend oil pastels because I, I think it's nice to expose children to different mediums. And this is a fun one. And again, like I said, I got this set at Michael's and it was $5. So I know it's going to last a long time. So you need the oil pastels, you need paper, um, and I recommend a thick or type of paper, like this mixed media. I think I showed this to you before. This is kind of an expensive paper, but again, it's something you can save for. Really, you can use any paper, but thicker is better because the kids can do more without you know tearing the paper. You need something to smear the oil pastels with, you know, like toilet paper or tissue. And you need to have some objects from nature, so you can just send the kids out. So some flowers. Look at these; these are so pretty. Got these at Trader Joe's. Love them. Or shells. Whatever they think of shells. And it's good to just let the kids choose the items. So those are the supplies that you need. Just a little bit about um, using the oil pastels. I'm going to demo it for the kids, but. You want to encourage the kids to start with lighter colors and then go darker because it leaves room for errors. Error. If you start with a darker color, it's hard to go over it and fix it, although some beautiful things can be done. So there's all kinds of little techniques. You know, you can go real dark and then use, you know, where'd it go? You can smear and have a lot of fun with that. I'll demo this more on the kid video. Kind of hard to do here. Um, so much fun. I encourage you guys to try it too. One thing about ages, this lesson really can go across the ages. One thing I learned today with my own little five-year-old is never underestimate what a five-year-old can do or even a younger child. She really surprised me with something I didn't think she could do that she did very quickly in terms of pressing a button with something. So I encourage you, let your younger children try these materials. They may like them, they may not. Let them try and draw the flowers or the shells. They may surprise you. And the last thing is I just want to touch on for some homeschooling parents. This is a great lesson to do some writing, to write stories about flowers, to go out in nature. Um, it links beautifully with flowers and science and the study of living things. Thank you, and I'll see you at the kid video.